Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be walking through the basics of how to remove and replace your processor. So I'm going to be working with an Intel processor on an Asus motherboard. It's going to be similar for most motherboards and I'm trying to do this while avoiding removing all of the cooling system. So I have another video walking through how to install a new cooler, basically just replacing the stock ones. But in this video, we're gonna be covering, okay, I don't wanna disassemble everything. How do we get this processor off and get it swapped out? So this has been taken off, that's unavoidable because obviously this is over top of the processor. So we will set this off to the side and I will have links in the description to the build for this computer because it is a budget PC. I've been able to get set up for around or under $350. So we have what we need right here. So basically you're going to have this little metal lever. We're going to be pushing this off to the side. Now in this case, I have loosened up this front mounting bracket right here, but I haven't taken it off completely. And this way you'll see that we can actually lift up right here. And it's not recommended to do it this way. And obviously you're going to want to clean your CPU first, but you'll see once this is lifted up, you can actually just let this fall right out. So obviously this needs to be cleaned up, but that's the general principle. So it's really not that difficult. Once you have this removed, you will then be able to replace it with whatever replacement CPU that you're using, making sure that your uh, orientation is correct. Another thing to note, you wanna make sure that you are not damaging any of these pins on the back. So I highly recommend that you put these in anti-static bags to avoid any electrostatic discharge. And then also make sure that you're cleaning everything, especially any runaway thermal paste. Then you're going to want to find your new processor. So let's just say this is the new one. All we are going to do, you'll want to have this laid down instead of doing it standing up like this. But basically, it's the exact process in reverse. So you'll lift up this holder, you will line everything up, and then with again, with the computer laying down, you'll simply push this metal piece over top of it, and then you will push this around and clip this metal hanger back in, and it will secure the CPU in place. Again, at that point, you're going to want to make sure it's cleaned off, apply new thermal compound, and you can watch videos online about how to do that. Pretty simple, you just kind of smooth it over the top. So in this case, I prefer to have a firm layer instead of putting a dot or a specific pattern. So I'll usually just do like a square, for example, smooth it out over the top using some kind of uh, applicator. And then at that point, all you need to do is go ahead and get your new, uh, or I guess I should say your current cooler and just attach it back on. So again, you're just going with the mounting hardware. Don't forget to tighten everything back up. You will put the new cooler on and test out the system. Make sure everything works before putting it all back together and you are all set. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.